We finally have a second base of operations set up. Not sure if we can call it home just yet, but at least we can get a few nights of rest here. Anyways, being in a new location comes with a whole host of new tasks. Clearing out the nearby buildings to use for hubs and looting is definitely going to be on the agenda for today. Let's hope we can just stay under the radar and not attract the horde again. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are here with Alan Johnson. We got ourselves a pretty nice gun here. This, uh, this M4 Super 90 should do pretty nicely. To be honest, we should probably extend the stock as well. Don't really do much 4.04. I don't know why I'm still checking this. Yeah, it doesn't even do anything. So I would like to extend the stock. There we go. Got a little bit of extra pizzazz on this bad boy. Though maybe... Hold on, let's see. Mm, still pretty fast. I'm gonna fold it. I think it might be a little less accurate. But I think it's a little bit quicker. Anyways, we're gonna be clearing out some of these dead bodies in the area. You know, I want this place to look nice at the very least. So grabbing some of these corpses, getting them the hell out of here is gonna be pretty nice. We'll also have a quick little smoke. God knows we deserve it. <laughs> We have currently survived uh, just about three days, 16 hours. Pretty good. Time to dump out some of these corpses. I don't want them in the area. Hopefully I saved some bleach. At least tell me there's some bleach here. I mean, we could always grab some at a later date as well. So I'm not too worried. I don't know. This place feels very safe to me. So I'm happy that I did get this spot. There we go. We'll just dump it out here. Uh, probably not next to my uh, whole thing here. Drop it off right here. There we go. Sorry, corpses, but, uh, you know, you gotta go. Gosh, it is still absolutely frigid. It's a little bit better than earlier. At the very least, we can, you know, thank ourselves about that. I'm also gonna drop everything on the floor. I wouldn't be surprised if I already get cold just that quickly. The windshield's actually... Yeah, we're already cold. Whew. We can literally survive, like, three minutes outside right now. That's not the best at all. Holy hell. How am I supposed to hop over a fence and get to the other side when it's this cold? I mean, I would like to check out some extra areas here, but damn! This, <laughs> this series does not fool around. Holy frick. Okay. Let's hurry up. Drop off this extra corpse. It's actually already 8 p.m. We're probably going to go to sleep. I kind of for forgot about that, to be honest. And I forgot to declothe that zombie. What whatever, whatever, whatever. We're going to be all right. I don't know if I should... Oh, yeah, we got another ranch machete here. Go take that. Uh, we'll also go take these shock and shells. Don't mind if I do. We'll use these, um... Crates, and we'll use, like, some of these, like, random bits and baubles around here. Like, the tables outside and all that jazz. To, uh, help further barricade... Our entrances. Ooh, there's another corpse right here as well. Okay, we're not exactly done yet here, then. There we go. And I should probably shut off that TV just out of, uh, respect. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty loud. And I don't want anyone coming up here, especially no Mr. X hoo-ha zombies that'll absolutely ruin my day. Because, uh, yeah, this, this whole run is just absolutely unforgiving. <laughs> Nothing like the good old uh, cold embrace of winter's day. And uh, there we go. We got some baggy jeans here. I don't know if there's a difference between baggy or non baggy jeans i am hearing some commotion going on whatever i think there's one more corpse to deal with now and we should be golden we also have our boxes that we do need to deal with later on as well Alrighty, where's the last body in here come on show yourself right now i ain't got all day uh is there one more corpse left we might have just gotten everything i would like to actually pick up these uh these cabinets, those would be very nice to place in front, but we're gonna need a little bit more carpentry, which actually we might want to start leveling towards. I just don't want to destroy my own technical safe house. Huh. I guess we didn't have a corpse around here anymore, which is good, I guess. Okay, let's go uh, place the uh, place the good stuff here. Honestly, what I might do real quick is I might reallocate this right here. We're gonna disassemble this, and we're gonna replace them at the window right here. I feel like that'll be a little bit better of a of an idea. That way we can actually use a door. I feel like the door is going to be a little bit better to use. So let's see here. We should have ourselves our nails in one of these bad boys. It should be this one right here. Here we go. Yeah, we really don't have much in terms of tools, but that's to be expected. We do actually have a needle. Okay, that's really good, actually. We could make some good stuff with that. Hell yeah, that's great, actually. All right, here we go. Just barricade this up. There we go. I feel a little bit safer. 
I like the door being like the only thing that I can actually get towards. You know, just just makes things makes things nice. Okay, let's go. Uh, place a box here. Just two of them. Nothing too wacky. It's definitely some infected on the other side. I hope they leave my boxes alone. <laughs> and I hopefully won't incur the wrath of the undead. Okay. We got our rancher machete. Rancher machetes are honestly great, but I'm feeling the baseball bat right now. The baseball bat has that uh, ground pound or, you know, like the, the ground and pound. So I would like to keep those. I don't know. I feel like stunning ability is a lot better when uh, it's the type of zombies that we're dealing with normally, right? Put away our lighter. Actually, we do need that lighter. Keep that lighter. Uh, everything is looking all right. We'll go put away just a few last things here. The nails can go. Digital watch can go. And the hammer can also go as well. There we go. All right. I'd say that's uh, pretty good. Pretty good in terms of inventory management. We'll go equip the baseball bat on our back. Equip the, equip the M4. Okay. We're going to go to sleep in the master bedroom. Make sure these uh, curtains are shut. And yeah. Go to sleep right in front of the TV. A little bit of blood here and there, but it should be no problem for your boy. Should be smooth sailing. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. It's five o'clock. How cold is it outside right now? That is a real question. Is it even worth it to run outside? It's a, it's a solid negative 87. Okie dokie. That's uh. Ooh. Oh, man. I mean, all we have to do is just hop the fence and head around that way. Or we could head down my way, head into that home over there, and then head up north. I think we're going to go do mine. Yeah, I'd rather go through the front right now. Ooh, it's a cold day. It's a very cold day today. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is, that's frigid. Okay, we need to go, like, right now. Let's go, 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 go. Don't mind me, idiots. I'm just doing my thing. The door's even open for me. So it's basically like an open invitation, I would say. Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, might as well take him out right now. Okay. I have incurred the wrath of uh, God himself. And now I must go. And now I must go. That's fine. They don't know where I'm at. Exactly. I can't believe my f fucking luck right now. Oh, why do you do this to me, game? Why can't I just have a normal day? Please. Just a singular day where I don't have to deal with the non-stop threat of the undead. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, baggy jeans actually slow you down a little bit more. And an alarm went off. Oh, my God. Oh, we got some canned potet, potato, con potatoes, can can potatoes. Oh, that that's a that's an infected. That's a big boy. Oh God. <gasps> okay, that's fine. We're just gonna hop back over. We're gonna we're gonna let nature take its course. That's fine. That's cool. Us, I, w I want some I want some actual jeans. We have baggy ones which actually slow us down a lot more. So yeah, give me give me these jeans. These jeans look nice. Yeah, that one's a little bit better than the rest. There we go. Okay. You can have these baggy ones. Take them. I don't need them anymore. Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe my luck right now. All right. I think we're going to go, uh, we're going to go read. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all we have is tailoring for beginners. So how about we start? Actually, what we could do is start tailoring. Yeah, we have the thread. Okay, that might be a thing to do. We'll wait like, I don't know, a few minutes. There we go. Okay. I'm going to actually head up north this way now. I feel a little bit more confident about that. So let's go grab a quick little bite to eat. Also drop off our canned potatoes. That's all we got out of that whole trip. <laughs> Just a single canned potato. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, I'm feeling like a potato right now. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't actually feel like a potato, but I feel like it's a potato day, you know. All right. Let's go ahead around. Thankfully, we did barricade it. And thankfully, we took him out already, so we won't have to deal with that idiot in the future. I'm hearing a lot of commotion up here actually. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Oh, it's negative like 80. Okay, this sounds safe. There we go. 
Just like that. There's actually nothing really here. Oh, you're running. Okay. Good night, man. Good night. That's a nice hoodie, but I, I gotta leave it. Let me in. Ooh. Okay, we're in. Oh, it is nice in here. Let me tell you. I've been waiting outside all day. It's nice to finally get in, rest up for a little bit. Oh, man, that is... Okay. There are a lot of zombies here. A whole bunch of undead. That's fine, though. We can take them out one by one. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. I don't like how dark it is, but there's nothing I can really do about that until I find the main connecting lights. As long as none of them are sprinting at me, we should be okay. We're gonna hop into the back area here. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Ooh, locker rooms. That's what I like to see. Magazine, lunchbox, scissors. Actually, yoink. That's that's an easy yoink. Magazine, tennis ball. I mean, I should be taking magazines now, to be honest. Those could come in handy real fast here. So let's take uh, that bad boy. Definitely hearing a lot of commotion, but we should be all right. How's our protection looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty survivable, I'd even say. Yeah, they're right on the other side. Do you hear them? I definitely hear them. Okay, there's nothing else really here. I would like some gloves. <laughs> I missed my gloves. I had some really nice wool gloves and I did I have wool gloves? Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, dude. Come right on down, man. The water is fine. Nice t-shirt. That's a that that is a very nice uh, it's very nice of a school bag you got there. Sadly, I don't need any of them because I got a hiking bag. But hey, still pretty epic. Any of y'all got some wacky hats, though? I could really go for some cool hats. I don't really see any cool wacky hats, sadly. A lot of jackets, though. So hopefully we'll get lucky with one of these bad boys. Ah, uh, butter knife. That's a good, that's a good jacket. It's gonna replace my plain leather one. It's gonna hurt a little bit more, but this should have more insulation. So we'll go compare them right now, just so we make sure. Okay. Red, or we'll do orange, yellow, orange. Okay. Yellow, yellow. See? See? Doesn't have any rain resistance, but sorry, leather jacket, but uh, I gotta be protected. And we're st we still have 100% scratch, just a little less uh, on the limbs, so I guess that's alright. Hello? Ah, oh, that's a lot of zombies. No, I would be lying if I say I didn't want to check it out. Okay, come on, guys. Let's go. I don't know why I'm so scared of fighting, like, three zombies right now. Like, I can literally take them so easy. I guess it's- I'm just scared about the one sprinter that's just gonna run up and ruin my day. Ah, like him. Speak of the devil. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Damn you. Damn you, sprinter. Okay, let's get some distance. Run down, turn around. Hey, buddy. Going like a champ. I can't even see what you're rocking right now. There we go. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. There we go. Um, you got anything on you? I mean, I would I'd take about just about everything right now. I mean, I would actually. How would I look in a cap? Whew. I mean, the bucket hat is pretty eternal, though, so I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Bucket hat does give me a little bit more insulation. I'll put away the bucket hat. You know what? I'm feel I'm feeling I'm feeling reverse cap boy right now. Just take it easy. I don't want to die here. Wear it backwards. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we got like the black and white aesthetic, which is actually pretty mint. Let's see if we can attract uh, these idiots here. Come on. Let's go. Right here. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. We're getting a little bit sweaty. Should be okay, though. Whoop. Take him out. Boink. Easy mode. Anything in the satchel? That's a tie. That's technically... Okay. Okay, we got one sprinter coming in after us. Let's go get some distance right now. All right, just one. That's good. Good news. See you later. <laughs> I gotta say, I love Terrazeds. You know, it, it can get really fucked quick, but my god, is it fun. I wish I had a little bit more um, balls to use guns, though, but honestly, I don't want to expose myself to the elements. I've... If I if I leave this building, I am gone. So I mean, I could take him out easy right now. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. 
I would be able to just absolutely clean house with these idiots. Wipe the floor in their brain matter, dude. Okay, come on. Woo! Taking a lot of swings there. Okay, got another runner. There we go. As soon as we see more than one, we get the hell out of dodge, though. All right. Anything good on you? Di I mean, there's a diamond pattern sweater. That might be uh, pretty good, actually. Okay, come on. There we go. Boink. This baseball bat, <laughs> it just hits different. Oh. See you later, idiots. Ooh, mama. Ooh, mama. Okay. That's that's a good majority of them. We'll be able to continue looting this place. Let's uh let's drop some of this junk on the floor though. I want to have some extra clothing to go towards and stuff like this will degrade over time. So it's good that we just drop it off right now. Got a lot of satchels actually. I'm pretty happy about this whole thing. We haven't gotten anything of like substance yet. But hey, that's all a part of the play. Ooh, house key. Yoink that. Thank you very much. Ooh, yeah. It's a lot of stuff here. That's a Spiffo decal t-shirt. Actually, I will be taking that. No, actually, never mind. That's a that's a short sleeve. And if I were to wear a short sleeve right now, I would basically be killing myself. Not really, though. But um, that's what I'd like to think. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get all the zombies de- Ooh, wow, that's a, that's a lot of stuff you had right there. Or that was probably just the floor. No, this could- Okay, no, that actually is the floor. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. Uh, another varsity jacket drop it on the floor a couple of school bags here and there school bags are cool and all I mean, I do like the design of them very much so but Hiking bag sometimes you just gotta actually the hiking bag with the new styles looks very minty. I like it a lot here Yeah, I like it Let's just take her easy Um, I'm probably not gonna find much in here to be honest. I will be taking that water cooler though <laughs> That is gonna be an insta yoink for me yeah, this, this we got a we got a special spot for you, water dispenser, John. Oh yeah. Oh, clothing store. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Dresses. Okay, give me something like a little bit more of like substance, please. Come on, you know what? Uh, just jackets and all that jazz. Okay, that's fine. Man, it is it is something crazy going on out here. Don't worry, Alan. You got this, buddy. You're such a champion. Look at you. Killing 85 zombies. Few days. Four hours. Hell yeah, my dude. Okay, we got two, it seems here. There's one behind the telephone poles. And there's this idiot here. So let's take him out real fast, real sweet, real quick. There we go. I mean, those pants are just kind of bad, though. Like, I would not want to take those. The jeans are where it's at in terms of insulation. I don't think we can get anything better as of right now. Okay. So we're able to take this out. We can go check out this area now, the buffet. All I can eat. I would like to test that theory now. So just gonna boink you out of the way. Come on, buddy. Come on. You know you want to die. By my hands. <laughs> this baseball bat, it's taken a many a name. Oh. Okay. This is... Oh, I know where we're at. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm kind of vibing with it. Wine, sardines, peas. I won't take the peas right now. I'll be taking the more like dense stuff. Yeah, no, this is actually a really good spot. Uh, cooking pot, rolling pin, bourbon. <laughs> hey, hey, don't mind if I do. I like to party every now and then. Dog food, that's real party material. Should be a kitchen in the back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is this is it. Uh, we got a lot of stores and stuff around here, which is also very nice as well. Corned beef. That's like one of the canned goods you want to take. Super dense in calories, super good, super worth it for the space. Same thing with mac and cheese. Stuff never goes bad. Mac and cheese will outlast, outlast your life. Also, coffee, tea bag, self-explanatory, really. There's no reason why I need to explain why I'm taking coffee while it's came in clutch so many times before. There we go. We'll probably be eating. Uh, we'll keep the banana, though, and the chicken. We can go actually cook that up back at home. At least until the uh, old power goes out, which should be a little while from now, hopefully. Ice cream, easy yoink. See, we're we're getting our uh, we're getting everything back together now. Up until the next mis Mr. X comes around to say hi and absolutely ruin my day, but I'm um, not. I don't want to think about that right now. <laughs> I really don't. Okay, we're almost at our limit in terms of uh, carry weight. Uh, there's quite a few, you know, quite a few zombies here, man. Hey yo, hey yo, check it out, check it out. I'm oh wow, what the hell? That is really trippy. Hey, why don't you why don't you go back through? 
Uh, okay, someone's screaming their damn head off. <laughs> Holy hell. Okay, that's bad. Okay, it's a good thing that two didn't come after me there. Hey, you stop that. You stop that. I'll bust your knees out, miss. There we go. <laughs> How do I look with the... Ooh, digital watch dropped that on the floor. I don't actually have a... I don't have a, uh... What you might call it? Nah, I like the red. I like the black. But anyways, like I was saying, I don't have a... I don't have a screwdriver yet. What the hell? Oh, I should probably get one of those very soon. Okay, let's go wear the other varsity jacket. There we go. This is going to be the best thing we have until we can get that padded jacket. You can tell because we are currently sweating and, like, actually, like, you know, wet. Which is not exactly the best for, I think, you know, being outside and all that jazz. But honestly, I, f I am too lazy to take it off right now, so we're just going to keep it on. Alright, uh, is there anything even worth it here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Or did I take just about everything that was good here? At the very least, we're getting some well-needed experience in? Okay. That's like a little daycare. I'm guessing that's a daycare. Honestly, this place is probably just going to be a little crossroads for me. Just somewhere to go from point A to point B. This is also going to be really good for evading the undead. Because the amount of windows here and like doors. So we will be able to use this to the best of our ability. Hey man. Nice designer backpack you got there. Sorry I have to kill you now, bud. <laughs> okay. Damn. Maybe the designer backpack is uh, helping them survive a couple more baseball bat swings to the head as well. Only took him like a champ. Eraser, paperclip pen. Sadly, there's no uh, Raven Creek map as of yet, which is pretty sad. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use it for, though. This place is going to be um, like, a, like a nice little crossroads for me, so I might as well clear it out to the best of my ability. Oh, come on. Damn it. Right here, lady. Come right on in. I welcome thee. Okay, removing the glass should attract quite a few of them. It's honestly quite a few in this area, which is not exactly the best. Uh, come on. Come on. I'm right here. Let's go. Vamanos. Right here. All right. He's coming through. Yeah. I'd say after we clear out, like, at least the, re the, the rest of the lot of these. Hey, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. You want to know how to do your taxes without any returns? Come over here. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, you're playing hard to get, huh? Okay. I respect that. I respect that. I'll be the go-getter then. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out with that. I'll help you out with the respect. Actually, we are just good at stealth. I think that's our problem. We're just good. <laughs> Damn, I love playing stealthy characters. Literally the best thing ever in the whole world. Just absolutely beautiful. Great. Awesome. Delicious. Good night. Drop that varsity jacket on the floor, man. Yeah, give me the pants as well. Okay. Could you stop banging on that? What kind of, uh, what kind of backpack you got there, man? I like it. It's sleek. You know, you could really spec designs like that. Ooh. You had a walkie-talkie on him. Might yoink that. Honestly, I'm probably not going to get much else here. So, yoinking that walkie-talkie is probably going to be the best thing we can do right now. Sadly. <laughs> Damn, this place actually has nothing to loot. Uh, it's... Pretty diminishing returns. I mean, the buffet was nice. I will admit that. That was very awesome. We might be able to find like a... Like a, uh, maybe... I don't know what we'll find in here. Well, at the very least, what we could do... Is start patching up some of our clothing as well with the tailoring guide. Maybe we'll come back here later. I think next episode I want to check out some more of the neighborhood. Or, if I were to walk y'all down over this way. Just want to take out this, these last few zombies. Come on, let's go. I ain't got, I ain't got all day. Let's go. There we go. Door flash. Zombie. Push her over. Kill her. End her life. Let her suffer. No one sh Everyone shall perish in the eyes of, uh, Alan Johnson. The man, the myth, the legend. The one, the only, the best man in the world. First aid for beginners actually gonna be pretty useful in this run because I- if- I can get wounded very easily and I'll actually still live to tell the tale. So, I'll be yoinking that as well. Let's go see if there's any good books for us to read. Go right back through, man. Advanced trapping, forging, f forging. Could you imagine forging in this hellhole? <laughs> Couldn't it be me. Couldn't be me. Fishing for beginners. <laughs> Go on, give me some. Lock picking for dummies. That's um, I already know that. Mechanics for beginners. 
Electricity for beginners. That might be nice. I would actually like to learn how to a hot wire. We got mechanics for beginners. We got electricity for beginners. That might be in the vibe. So we still need some tools for that one. So I don't know. Just yet. Okay. Hello. Oh, yeah. I can barely see it behind these uh, bookshelves, buddy. Sorry I have to take you out. Yeah, we're already getting tired. So I think we woke up a little bit too early tonight. Lane's auto manual. Um, honestly, going to be needing those if I want to level up my electrical or my mechanics. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to catch uh, birds in this area, but I mean, it'd be worth a shot, I guess. I mean, hey, who knows what could happen, right? What can we craft? Actually, I should probably look at this like when I'm not in like a hell zone. I think that'll be a good idea. Army for beginners. We'll take the engineer mag. Okay. We don't have enough room for the water cooler. That's all right, though. Let's just decide to head back, and I'll show you all my plan once I get into this cafeteria here. And take out that idiot. We're chilling right here. Okay. So, I've been here. And I've been in this area in my other series in Raven Creek. So, I know kind of where I'm going. And what I'm eyeing up right now, that's the mayor's house. The big old fenced-in area. Could be a good base. Could be a good, like, fallback point. And right over there to the side, let's, uh, let's actually use a back door over here. We'll just run around real quick. Head out this way. There, you'll be able to see... Ooh, that's a sprinter right there. Not exactly the best. But anyways, if you were to look out this way, you can see the corner of the police station. Raven Creek Police Station. And down that road a little bit more is going to be a hardware store as well. So we have quite a few options, to be honest, in terms of uh, loot. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyways, I think we're going to decide to head back. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to stay too long around here. My character's sweating buckets right now, but we did get some water coolers, which is pretty awesome, I would say. And we did clear out this area for later use. Could use this as a bit of a battleground with the amount of obstacles. Like, this is going to be um, where I fight hordes, I feel like. Especially when a lot of them can be, uh, you know, infected. Or not infected, sprinters. Because we'll be able to use this these windows all for like you know breaking up hordes we can also use a fence for like hopping real quick i think we can hop these pretty yeah we can hop those normally so yeah this is a really good spot for fighting the undead very excited for this actually and it's right next to our base i swear i might have just heard another radio guy that's definitely a radio guy all right, buddy. How do you want to do this, man? How do you want to do this? Ah, that's that's a radio, dude. I could shoot him. I could blast his brains out. I don't know if it'd make a di difference. All right, buddy. I'll play your game. Come right on over. As soon as he hits the ground, I'm going to run over there. I'm going to bash his fucking brains and I'm going to run. Okay? Ah, you never seem to leave me, man. You never seem to leave me. Come on, buddy. I'll be waiting. I'll eat this banana in, 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 your, in your name. Dude, please tell me you didn't attract them already. Okay, we're still chilling. Oh, Mr. X, Mr. X, when will you learn... That I will kill you instantly, sir. Come on. I, I, I just want to see if I can stun him before anything else right now. Also, I don't know why I see my hat there. A little bit weird. Can I actually change out my hat? Like, midway? I don't know. What, what is my head doing? Oh, it's probably for a weapon flashlight. God, you are weak. I don't want to use my shotgun right now because I don't know what's louder. This guy doing his little radio chant or like me blasting my fucking shotgun. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Oh, uh, come on, man. I really don't want to deal with you right now. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm going to head around. Screw it. Screw you, man. I'm already getting too tired for this. I'll see you later. Please don't follow me. Alrighty. We'll just uh, hop in through this way. Hopefully, he won't see where we went. Oh, is that another survivor home? Poggers? Okay, okay, okay. We know where to check out next time. Let's just hop the fence. Call it a day. It's negative 77 degrees. Not exactly the best weather, but hey, we're doing all right. We got a full uh, full inventory of loot, so it's not that bad. Wait, look what the... I actually like the visor for it. 
Okay, that's said Oh, yeah, we're already freezing. It's horrific wind chill, you know? Okay. Well, I'll go, um... Oh, no, I'll go drop off the varsity jacket. That should, uh... Help us out a little bit. We'll wear the jacket whenever we decide to get inside. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys liked this episode, please like favorite share. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a damn good day. Peace out.